good morning i'm mary ellen and today i'm going to share with you my september favorites and i don't have very many but what i have i really really like and my number one thing is autumn is here i am so excited prior to september 22nd we had little tastes of autumn weather and we've had some warm days but we've had some really cool evenings and it is just my absolute favorite season of the year and I've had people say, why do you always say autumn? Well, that's what I was taught growing up. And it's just too beautiful of a season to be called anything else but autumn in my book. I love the leaves. I love the crispness in the air. It's like I really do come alive once autumn. I'm kind of like in hibernation in the summer. My brain is and everything else. I'm not a summer person. And I really never have been, but I've always enjoyed autumn. We have a lot of farms in our area, and I like the smell of soybeans being harvested and corn. I just like everything about it. I do like pumpkin, but I am not a huge pumpkin spice fan. I know a lot of people are. I like it, but I don't love it at all. I just enjoy the weather, and I enjoy winter and spring and then I hibernate. So that is my very favorite thing from September. The next favorite thing is it is October, and that is my birthday month, and I am excited to turn 68. There are a lot of people that have not had that privilege, and I am thrilled to be here and be talking about it. The next item is something I bought several months ago, but I have been shopping for for years, and I'll, at some point I'll put in a little piece of paper just so you can see what I am talking about. This is the Fossil Crossbody Bag, and it is 30 years old, and I have liked it, and you can't, I don't think you can get them anymore, but it just became a little too small. So in a document, I wrote what the dimensions were. I did find something, oh, probably five years ago that was a little bit bigger, and here this one is, and this is from Wilson, and it is a crossbody bag, had a big pocket in the back, ample room on the inside, and then like a zipper. But what is happening? Jim and I aren't going anywhere with the exception of grocery pickup, and he goes to the doctor. And I want to tell you, his hips are horrible, and he is on a waiting list whenever the hospital start doing surgery again. They're, they're too full. He's going to get a hip replacement, and then he, when he heals, he'll get another hip replacement. I think his spine problem, I don't know what we're going to do about that. We'll just have to wait and see. But he was a metal lather, L-A-T-H-E-R, throughout his career. And he you tie metal. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I know he did hotels, malls, hospital, and anything that is in metal inside these buildings, he did it. So he also has shoulder and neck problems. So he's been using a walker for several months and he's really having a hard time getting around so i just pray that we get a call not in the in the near future that he can get it done but here's my issue i needed something bigger than this so i looked at a few handbags and i'll put a couple of them up so i searched and i mean i've been looking for probably two years for a little bit bigger crossbody, but now I need it. And I like the one by Tori Birch, and I'm gonna put photos in here of them in a lighter color so you can see the details. So I typed the dimensions and kind of put that aside. And then I liked Gucci Soho bag, and there's a picture of that. And then I started looking at Dooney and Burke. And historically, their handbags have always been really heavy. I knew I did not want a heavy crossbody, but I needed a crossbody or a shoulder bag. And this can, the one I found can be used either way. And I'll put a picture of the one that I purchased and then I'll show you mine. I bought mine in black and brown, but I'm showing you the red so you could see the details. And here is mine right here. I could do without this, but it's there. It has a big zipper on the outside. It has, it's red on the inside. And I'll take out the stuff that's in here so I can show you what I like. I have just a bag of whatever, <laughs> some reading glasses, a pen, and a couple of lipsticks, or really lip glosses, some of Jim's medication. That's my little wallet, and I love it. I've had it for a few years, but it's it's all I need 99% of the time. And then I have this little bag that I always keep, and I usually put it out front of my 
purse so I don't have to get in it. But this has fives and ones. The, I have a little mark on where the fives are and then the ones. And, and I just keep it stocked in case I just need a little bit of something. So I've got the money. I don't have to get my wallet out. I don't have to be able to get any cash out. I don't get to have to lose my... I'll do anything to avoid problems. I will tell you that. And that makes it easy. Some peppermint gum and some eyeglass cleaner. But I'll show you what I like about this. Number one, it's red. It's larger. And it has two large side pockets right here. It has a large zipper on this side, but there's nothing in the middle. So I can have all my things in here and then my things right here. And this is perfect for me to put Jim's phone and his wallet in the big outside zipper compartment. I have extra masks. I have a hair tie and my phone goes in there. And another feature I always like in Dooney purses is the key that you can put your key on here. So depending on what I'm driving, if I'm driving the van or if I'm driving the car, depends on what I put on this. But I couldn't be happier. I signed up for emails from the company, Dooney and Burke, and I also watched QVC and I ended, my, ended up buying mine at QVC when it was on sale and Ebates was 10%. And I was gonna show you the zipper is just like, Excellent, excellent zipper. And in my little bag is uh, some Kleenex, some hand sanitizer, and a little thing of poopery, because you never know. So this is all I need when we are out and about. I really buy my handbags, my crossbodies for function, and I do like them to last, and I really don't think I'll have to buy another crossbody bag. So it is definitely form and function over fashion, but I like this. And if we are out and about and I need a big handbag, this is one from Cole Haan, and it is, it's probably 30 years old. But it, you know, it, it's never gonna go out of style. Tassels never go out of style. Even though my coloring is cool and I'm supposed to wear silver, I always prefer the gold trim. And I have other handbags, but what I use, what I have in here, is I just have this and all I have to do is put what I need in here and then I can change from one handbag to another but I am not going anywhere or I need a brown handbag or you know I used to kind of coordinate what I'm wearing but I'm not needing to do that now but I will someday but I'm gonna slip in my only fail and and it's from Nordstrom I do like to shop from Nordstrom and I know that you have to have a credit card if you want to this is what I this is what I think I know I may be wrong but I think you have to have a credit card to order from their annual sale. So I always have had a credit card. Back in the day when I was raising kids, I had quite a few credit card balances. So I always pay my credit cards off in full. But I got a notice from Nordstrom, their annual percentage rate on their purchases was going up to 18.9%, $40 late payment fee. I was just shocked. So it's made me scared to death to use my Nordstrom card because what if I forget to pay it? And I'm not paying interest anymore. I've done that way in the past. Well, I'm gonna put something up here and just show you. And you guys probably, you all probably already know that. But if you have a $1,000 balance on a credit card and the rate is 8.9% and you make the monthly payment of $40, that's, you know, the min minimum monthly payment it is going to take you 71 months to pay that $1,000 off if you only make the minimum payment. And that is one month shy of six years and your total payments are gonna be $1,511. So you're gonna be paying $511 interest. I understand, I have been there, but it just really aggravated me. So I thought I'd share with you. Several months ago, I knew I needed some new, some better shoes to wear in the house when I'm working. I, I love my Sanook sandals and I have them in lots of colors, but I needed something because I am flat footed. I don't have problems yet with any of my joints, but I'm, I, I probably will. So I went online and I ordered, I read up on shoes and I ordered these shoes and these are Vionics. I really thought they were cute. I wore them exactly like they told me to and they never were comfortable ever, ever, ever. So I did send those back. As I was researching, I had heard about this company called Spinco. So I found a pair of sandals and they're as light as a feather. They have a nice arch support. The heel bed is nice and deep. 
and I ordered these, and I ordered them from QVC, and I absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. They wash off very nicely. I have inside and outside shoes, and these are my inside shoes. There's only one negative thing that I found. This starts to wear off, but I just use a black magic marker. I don't like it that it has a white footbed, but because I don't, if I'm like, even going through the house, it's just like white feet, size 10, white feet, size 10. And I'm glad I've got feet that work. I wish this part would have been in black. So anyway, I went back on QVC and I was looking for some more and I found these. These are just slides. They're made exactly the same way. They have black hair, super, super, super comfortable. I can put see me around the house this winter putting a pair of socks on and wearing these. I've worn them without socks, but they really are comfortable and they give my feet a lot of support. Some time ago, I was talking about the Nest candles and a good friend of mine sent me a message and she said that she was gonna send me one of her favorite candles and she said it was the lemon pound cake. And the first thing I thought to myself was pledge. I love the scent of fresh lemons, but I don't like, I. there's not much that I like that's imitation lemon. Well, with the exception of this candle and it is wonderful. She ordered it on Amazon and sent it to me, and it's called Keepers of the Light. And I think this is a 22 ounce one. It is, and it's supposed to burn 22 hours. And it's just as cute as it can be. I can smell it with the lid on it right now. And then I'm gonna take it off. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. What I love is like, I will only burn a candle for maybe an hour. Uh, maybe an hour, maybe 30 minutes a day, because I don't want a whole lot of scents in this house. But I can smell it away across the room after I have blown out the candles. I think they have a 32 ounce and a six ounce, and I think the 32 ounce is $4 more than this, but I would recommend them for a candle lover, But and I really do. It just smells good. It smells like 11 pound cakes baking in your oven. And I know I will have a use for this jar when it's when it's complete. I can think of a lot of things I can use this for. And that's what that's important to me. I'm gonna talk about built bars. I was disappointed. I love the puffs. I I love them. There's several that I love, but the puffs, the kind of ones that taste like marshmallows. I ordered several boxes when they were available, and, and you only get 12 in a box instead of 18. With a 10% discount that I get on them. It made each bar two twenty-five, and I thought, man, that's really high. And then I thought, well, you've spent more than that for a little dessert. So I feel okay about it, but I probably should have noticed it, but I didn't. So when I got them, I was kind of disappointed. Thanks to you all, they did send me a, a sample of the cookie dough bars, and I've got one right here, and this is what they look like, and they are delicious. My preference is to not have any residue, not have nuts or anything else in it, and these don't. It's kind of like just chunks of cookie dough. And of course, you know, you chew and chew and chew and chew and chew, but they really are good. I don't know if they are gonna be available online when this comes out, but if they go over well, it will probably, it, if it goes over well, I'm sure it'll be a part of their permanent collection. So that was good. I loved reading all of your suggestions about TV shows. And many of you had recommended to me Manifest. And Sherry from Home, Heart, and Help, she recommended it. And I'm going to link her channel below. And Cheryl from The Free Range Diva, she had recommended it to me. I am not much of a sci-fi person. In fact, probably... The most sci-fi I've ever been was uh, Back to the Future when I took my kids there. Or maybe Star Wars, because I took my nephews to see that. It grabbed me, and I've watched 12 episodes. I've kind of, you know, maybe every other night I've been watching it, but I've enjoyed it. I think there's, I'm not sure how many seasons, and I know it's on Netflix. It may be other places. Whenever I talk about a show or anybody else, I just search for it. Where can I watch, you know, whatever it is I'm wanting to watch, and a lot of times it's on several different places. But that's been a winner. I do have a list. And I have kept a list of any of the shows you've recommended to me. Someone mentioned Anne with an E. I had started that. I loved it. And I got to the point where these bad guys were going to come to their house. And I just had to quit watching it. So tell me if you're one of them that liked Anne with an E. Let me know if I don't want them to get hurt. 
Isn't that funny? But that's true. I, I enjoyed it, and I thought, oh my gosh, I don't want to see that part. This is coming from somebody who isn't bothered by a lot of things on television, but I, I guess when it comes to children, it, it just worries me. I did watch a documentary, and I think it was on Amazon Prime, and it was Lulu Row. And I don't know how I did not know much about this, but I absolutely was fascinated. I think there were four different parts. I am not here to judge anybody, but those type of MLMs, they bother me. They really do bother me because somebody, most of the people always get hurt. Just the few that started early or, or go to the top. There's always people that people are signing up and not everybody can make a lot of money. But I did find that very interesting. I love watching The Voice, and I have only watched two episodes. I watch it, I don't watch them in, in real time. And something I've watched for absolutely every episode of, and it might surprise some of you, is Survivor. I've watched it from day one. I haven't watched any this season yet. Again, I stack them up and I'll watch them, you know, like one night I'll watch one and the next night I'll watch the other. But I like to kind of see the, how they kind of work around and, and manipulate people. I like to pick out the manipulators really quickly. And there's some parts I just fast forward. That's how I do it. And if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway. I'm going to give away two items today. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't accept hardly anything. And Dermatology had asked to send me something some time ago. It was a it was the Broad Spectrum 45, the Tinted Moisturizer and with an SPF and the Facial Cleanser. I love the Tinted Moisturizer. I've, per I've purchased two. In fact, I just gotten a new one and in the, I purchased them myself. And in the mail I got the other day, I got the one, the Tinted Moisturizer with an SPF of 46 and the Broad Spectrum 45. It is a sunscreen. It's not a moisturizer. My favorite is a tinted moisturizer, but I'm gonna give both of these away to one person, and the other person is gonna, I've got another one that I've, I've got something else I'm excited about that I would love to use, but I would rather you have it than me because I do have a lot of brushes. Lisa from BK Beauty sent me the new release of the Angie Hot and Flashy. I think it's X, Angie X Hot and Flashy brushes. They look wonderful. Here's a picture of Angie, and I will link Angie's channel below. She designed these brushes specifically for her needs and specifically for the needs of people that are over 50, is what I'm thinking. All these brushes are new to BK Beauty. They're all designed by Angie, and they sell for $125. And if I decide I need them, I'm gonna buy some. But the first, the set that was given to me, I'm gonna give to you. And I'm just going to mail them in the box that I received them in with the card from Angie. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to give those away. Since this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to comments. But you can go to any video, even if it says I can't, I can. The only ones that I can't reply to are active giveaways. So what I want you to do in your comment below, in a sentence, either put SPF or brushes. Whoever comes up first will get their first pick. So if you're if you're only interested in the SPF, just put SPF. If you're interested in the brushes and not the SPF, put brushes. And if you're interested in both, just put down what you want first. This is international. This will close in three days. And then uh, I will announce the winners in the next video. It is all good. Thank you so much for being here. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I don't think anybody realizes how much it means to have people that actually enjoy what you have to say or kind of, you know, you know how it is. Anyway, I will see you in my next video and take care. I was, the week before it actually, the week in the winners of my last giveaway. Oh my gosh. And some by people, it, but, so I just like, the, and it's just too, mm -hmm.